What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode. cleaning up we're just going to clean up a little bit i got the crank out of both cases and got the gears out we're going to go through them take them off of the shafts check everything out and clean up this place is a mess this is the old crank and we're gonna we have the new one and everything so we're gonna lay all the new parts out that we're gonna need for the um inside of this i am waiting on waiting on some um oils and some assembly grease to come in as well as some cleaner from amsoil so i want to try that on the cases and see how good it comes off um i know a lot of people use scotch brite and all that kind of stuff but i want to spray this stuff on and see how it works put it to the test they got two different kinds so we'll see what happens all right so let's go ahead and start cleaning up that that's done we can go ahead and start laying the new parts out the new crank and all that kind of stuff and see if there's anything else that we might need let's see what we got here's the new stuff and this is from um, hot rod hot cams and the bottom end kit for the Raptor 660 comes with your other bearing on the other side and then your seals right here and then the uh, crankshaft. So that looks pretty good. Here's the old cylinder. I had it five over. He um, cleaned it. Obviously that cleaned it up on the inside. He found a piston to match. So there's the new piston and compared to the old one. The old one's not bad, but you can see there's a lot of scoring on the side and the cylinders on this were pretty bad. So we were able to take care of that. That looks pretty rough. And so there's new piston. And then I just got to find, still looking for a decent top end for a decent price. Some people say you can fix them. Um, I'd rather just get one that's either used or you know brand new the brand new ones are pretty expensive as well so i don't think i'll be going oem's pretty expensive i know that's you can't replace it but i'm gonna be trying to go used trying to decide i think i'm gonna go with the hot cam stage 2 cam and chain obviously gonna have to put different valve springs in and things like that as well so i think that's the route we're gonna go once we get there and we'll go from there. So while we're waiting on that stuff, to, the cleaning stuff to come so we can start cleaning the cases up and things like that. And I don't want to replace the seals until after we get it cleaned up just in case it's, I don't want them to get damaged or anything. So we're going to move this stuff off of the lift over to the bench. And then we got to start I'm going to start taking off these guards. I don't know who makes these, but they look absolutely heavy duty. And I got it on the rear swing arm. You can see it's on the um, main frame underneath the whole way. And then 
they're on the hay arms as well. So I don't know who makes them, but they look, they're probably crazy sturdy. They feel crazy sturdy, I mean, and they're thick too. So I'm gonna take those off and repair any uh, anything that needs to be repaired and probably get them powder coated with everything else. And you can see we have the DG feet, the foot guards and everything there. So we're gonna just go ahead and start taking some things off and probably get to down to the axle here and get this torn apart. Check out the bearings on this, so on and so forth. Make sure everything's good here and go from there. So we've got the rear carrier out. That doesn't look bad at all. Um, I'll probably rebuild, replace the bearings on the inside of it, things like that. And then this is the rear swing arm. And it looks in fine shape. And I, I actually don't know, I actually don't know how much of this is stock and how much of it isn't. I don't have a lot of experience with the um, the Raptor. Obviously I will after we're done with this, but I'm not sure if this is the stock swing arm or not. It has a part number on it here. So I'm guessing that it does. I think the rear carrier is stock as well. But I'll have to look up some part numbers and find out some things about it. So probably going to go with a different sprocket I'll probably rebuild the, the bearings in here, get that all taken care of and we'll go from there. So that's about it for this week. We didn't get a whole lot done. We got some stuff apart and hopefully, hopefully my stuff will start coming in. And we can go ahead and start rebuilding the engine at least and getting that all finished up. And then we'll continue on to rebuilding the swing arm, keep cleaning things up and get everything ready to send out to be powder coated. If you have any ideas, I'm taking suggestions as far as what color we should make it. Right now I'm thinking the frame and swing arm and everything is going to be black and then the bolt-on stuff such as the wheels um, probably the, th the shields and things like that will be uh, like a like the Yamaha blue but leave in the comments what your suggestions are as far as the colors are and what's some crazy stuff that you've seen and we will see you next week